Good morning, you guys. It is another day in Goa. We are still at Kuala Lumpur. This day that we have planned is going to be a super chill day. As you guys saw, episode one was rather hectic, and that was the first three days of my vacation. So I am going to take a couple of days where I'm just chilling by the beach, getting some work done on my computer, relaxing, enjoying, and soaking in the slow life of Goa. I'm trying to truly adapt to Susikar. There is a really nice cafe that was suggested to me by a very close friend back in Bombay. Apparently, this cafe is eco-friendly, so I'm really pumped to see it. They also make their own bread, which I hope they have today. So we're going to be heading there right now. Stay tuned, and the vlog continues. So something that I didn't know is there's a little route. We even head towards Patnam Beach all the way from Palalum. If you walk towards the end of Palalum Beach, where the rocks are right behind me, there's this little road that you can take. You can pass through this little resort known as Orium Palace, and there's a connection for you to go directly to Patnam by foot. The road was actually closed. I asked them to open it up for me. They did. Go through the entire resort and come out on the other side. As you guys can see, it's nine in the morning. I've come back to the beach and I'm already drenched because it is super hot and go at this point. Okay, this is like a really nice nature trail. This is Orium Palace right here. If you guys want to stay, it's only open during season time. There's only one more person on this trail. It's super green. A lot of bugs. You gotta be careful. There's literally steps made out of the framework in the ground. Just to put things into perspective, that's where we came from. Do it that way. And this should connect us all the way to Patnam without having to walk across the city. I think this is super cool. This. This is the cafe I told you guys about. The name is Bhakti Kutir. Love this stonework and ground. Really, really different to most shacks in Goa, which are filled with sand. These are what the rooms look like. Little cottages. I think these have a much much dreamier look to them. Remember that homemade bread that I told you guys about? Yeah, well, I was lucky enough for them to come out and do this on camera. Also, this is Ella. She's a mix between a Rottweiler and a German Shepherd. Definitely come say hi to her because she's a lot of fun to be around. This is Kokum Jam. This is the homemade bread that we spoke about and the sunny side up. This is breakfast here at Bhakti Kutu and it is looking absolutely amazing. And I'm pretty much going to sit here and be working majority of the day. I'll keep you posted. Okay people, moment of truth. We have homemade in-house bread, we have Kokum Jam and we have a little bit of butter and I'm going to try this for the first time. Never really tried Kokum Jam in my life. Let's see how this goes. That's a taste I didn't expect to get. I didn't really know what to expect when I had kokum jam, but it's fantastic. It's such a unique flavor in my mouth right now. And this bread is so soft, so well made. You guys have to come try out the homemade bread and bhakti kutir. It is fantastic. Okay, as I mentioned before, Bhakti Kutir is a place that you can actually stay at. It also has a yoga retreat within this place, so it can be a great place for you if you just want to come down and meditate, spend a few days, take some time off from your hustle and bustle. I met one of the people who run this place. His name is Matthias. He was camera shy, so he didn't want to get onto camera and talk to you guys. He's the person who brought the bread out, the homemade bread from their in-house cafe. Now that I've just got done with the breakfast, I'm just walking around this beautiful resort. As I mentioned before, it's built on a little bit of a hill, which you have to climb up once you get out of Palo you have to hike a little bit to come here. It's a beautiful route. It is super green and between all of these cottages you have a good amount of trails built up out of cobblestone and rock. Now I have the privilege to walk into one of these little rooms. Remember this is an eco-friendly resort which basically means you won't get your standard air conditioning, you won't get your fancy amenities but if you want to come explore nature this is definitely a place you want to go to. Okay so this is the path towards every cottage. As you can see the cottages are independent so you can book your own cottage when you come here. We have a hammock here, also an outdoor bed. We have a little bell here. Okay, we are now inside one of the rooms at Bhakti Kutir. This is the bed that you get. Openings into the environment. 
So you're literally in the middle of nature in an open cottage. Very rustic. Also, I'm going to show you the quick outdoor shower that every cottage has. It's pretty much an open air washroom. You have your shower here. In a way, if you're somebody who loves nature, you're going to love this place. If you're not that kind of person, you can basically just come here, check out the place, go to the cafe because the food is clean, organic, healthy, super nice. And the bread that they made was absolutely mind-blowing. They also do a specialized version of jams where basis the season, they'll make you different kind of jams. And I tried the kokum jam today. Definitely worth checking out. is also just a five minute walk away from Palulim Beach which basically means you have a bunch of activities. They also have facilities such as Wi-Fi. They also have tie-ups with people on the beach such as Samson's Kiosk who we've seen in Ronnie and Barty's vlog. So if you're somebody who wants to go kayak, do any kind of water sports, you want to go out surfing, you can just talk to the reception and they're going to help you out by connecting you. Also being an eco-friendly place, they do encourage the use of steel tumblers over plastic containers and plastic utensils. Also if you want to buy anything from their cafe and take it back with you, they encourage you to bring your own container I think this is one of the few places that's actually doing really really well when it comes to conserve the environment and that is what makes it so special. I'm going to be heading out. I'm going to be heading to Patnam Beach in a little while. It's walking distance from Palulim. Stay tuned and the vlog continues. We're currently going to this place called Kasa Jali. Look at this, you guys. You guys definitely have to come to Kasa Jali. I have heard a lot about this place from a lot of my friends. We're about to check it out, so let's go. Gorgeous, and it's by the seafront. So yeah, I'm really, really kicked about this. Okay, people, welcome to Patnam Beach. Patnam Beach is one of the most famous beaches in South Goa. It's really, really close to Palalim. And I'm really lucky that I have friends who have done this entire trip before, so they know exactly where and how to get to Patnam. I took a shortcut today, which I showed you guys in the starting of this vlog. This entire beach is super empty compared to most of the commercial beaches in South Goa. I spent the rest of the evening walking on Patnam Beach, enjoying the views and the sunset, and I went back to Kasa Jali for a fantastic dinner by the water. Good morning, people. 
It is a beautiful day in Goa. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. Went in for a dip and ended up helping these fishing boats uh, to come ashore. They were trying to pack up all the boats that they had because uh, the sea is getting pretty rough. So they needed a little bit of help. I was in the water. Being a sailor, I just couldn't say no. It's a lot of fun. Spent a good amount of time there. Today we have something really special. We're going to Betul Beach and we're also going to Bernolim. These are two very nice beaches in South Goa to explore. We're going to be checking out a bunch of different viewpoints there. I'm currently outside the Oxygen Resort. I'm waiting for my bike to come pick me up and then I'm gonna be heading so let's do this it's another super exciting day We finally made it to Betul Fort. Now, to be really honest, majority of the fort is now dilapidated and there's really no way to go in. And there's not really much that you can see on the inside except for a large amount of greenery. But your main viewpoint is here. I am drenched and I am dying in the heat at the moment so I'm gonna get out of here. The location is really really great and my job is to check out the location so that you guys can come and visit them. Just reached Bernalim Beach. Now, what you need to know is, I left my hotel at nine o'clock in the morning, and the distances in South Goa are absolutely crazy. I got to the Betul Fort at ten o'clock. I spent about fifteen minutes there because it was scorching hot. I got out from there and took a forty-five minute road trip to Bernalim, which is where I am right now. It's eleven thirty in the morning at the moment. I'm gonna go get something to eat at Bernalim because I haven't had my breakfast yet. We're gonna head to the beach and explore this beautiful island. <laughs> I ended up settling at the Roger Shack, which is a super chill place. As you guys can see, the shack looks really, really nice. The people are super hospitable here. They've been very kind from the moment I've entered. And the ham and cheese omelette over here has been absolutely banging. You guys have to check it out. But I'm going to enjoy my meal and enjoy this amazing view, which is absolutely stunning. So this is the Sri Lankan dessert. It's called Watalapam. Basically made out of coconut custard pudding and it has jaggery in it. I don't know the exact ingredients that they use, but it was recommended Roger's Shack on Banalam Beach. So you should definitely come check this out. They also have some really amazing looking pork sausages. Definitely come check this place out. Welcome to a beautiful morning at Palulim Beach. The idea behind this trip to enjoy my last few weeks in India as a matter of fact. So that's exactly why today I'm going to take another chill day. Today I'm just going to go to a bunch of different places and eat as much food as possible. It's a complete food trail. So one of the first places we're going to is this place called Canville. I had basically heard about this really famous place on Patnam Beach, Nada Brahma. Unfortunately, Nada Brahma is shut, but the owners of Nada Brahma started a cafe of their own known as Canvas. And Canvas pretty much has the exact same chef that they had at Nada Brahma. I am really pumped that I at least get to try the amazing food that they are known for. So the 
experience should be pretty similar. So the amazing staff that I told you about from Nara Brahma also work here now considering Nara Brahma shuttle season. We have one of them right here. He's really courteous, really fun to have around. Definitely come talk to him if you come to Canvas. Super cool people. So while watching Ronnie and Barty's vlogs, I actually found this place called Khop, which is also known as Greja Jevo Bhavan, which are the longer name, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong. But yeah, I'll leave a link in description and you can see the name on the screen. This is basically a home-based restaurant. You basically get served home food and authentic original Goan food. It's run by this lady who's been doing this for a very, very long time. You order what you want to eat and uh, they have a set menu for the day. You can choose the kind of fish that you want. You get served home food just like you would if you were sitting in a friend's house. Also, you don't need to order individual plates of food. You can just ask them to give you another piece of fish. You can ask them to give you a little bit more rice, a little bit more gravy, and they will give you the best authentic Goan food that you can find in South Korea. The lady who runs it is really, really sweet and she agreed to be on camera and that's her. After that insanely heavy home cooked meal, which is fantastic by the way, we have now come to this place called Kala Bahia, which is on Patnam Beach. Just come here to chill, probably get a coffee, enjoy the view, and probably wait here till sunset. After which, we're gonna head to Patnam Beach and play a little bit of football. I managed to pick up a ball, so this should be a lot of fun. Let's go. the sunset on Patnam Beach and I ended up playing football with a couple of people I met on the beach who I have now actually friends with. I met this amazing couple on the beach who are from Russia who have been travelling through India and they turned out to be a lot of fun to be around. A big shout out to Kasha and Pasha who have been the most amazing people that I have met on this solo trip. We are at La Feta right now. The desserts are supposed to be absolutely amazing in this place. I'm definitely going to be checking them out. Here's our chef. He has recommended a pizza and they have really good pizzas in this place too. So I'm going to let you know what we tried and definitely come to La Feta when you come to Goa. I pretty much got my meal and head back to my hotel and crashed. That's it from this week's episode. And in case you guys are waiting for the next episode and you don't see it for a while, it's because I'm back at sea and I haven't edited them yet. Stay tuned to the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. More episodes will come in the near future when I have a solid internet connection. Stay safe.